Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm checking out Note Plan 3, which has actually been released as of the last day. And it aims to take on Obsidian and Roam Research with a whole host of other abilities. Now in today's video, we're going to check out what's new and also check out whether Note Plan actually lives up to that dream. Today's video is sponsored by SaneBox. You can check out more about SaneBox later in today's video. So if you don't know yet, Note Plan 2 was an application that has been available on Mac and on iOS for quite a while now, but it is coming out in its third installment and they aim to challenge the note-taking applications on the market right now. Now it's currently available in native applications through Mac, iPhone and iPad with the ability to connect to iCal and reminders. Now one of the confusing things with this application is more of the way it markets itself because on some places it calls itself the calendar driven note taking and in some of the press releases it also tries to state it's taking on Obsidian and Rome. And also in other places it says that tasks are first class citizen. So it's a little bit confusing to work out what it is. The way that I describe it is you can manage tasks, you can manage notes and you can manage your calendar through this application. So it's sort of more like a traditional productivity application in the sense, helping you to create the basics inside of one application. It won't give you advanced databases or anything like this, but it will help you manage your calendar, sort out your tasks for the day. So like always guys, let's start with the pricing. Now, their personal annual plan is $4.99 a month, which is actually annually $59.99. They do also have a monthly fee of $6.99, which is, which is suitable if you've not really found out whether you want to use it yet. And they also have a business class plan, which is a little bit steeper and gives you priority support. Now, if anybody bought the Note Plan 2 version, if you bought it within the last six months, you'll get six months free. But if you bought it outside of that window, then you'll get three months free of Note Plan 3. Lots of threes there. So let's take you through some of the basic premise of this application. Over on this left-hand panel, you can see daily notes, the week ahead. You can also see reviews of your upcoming tasks and notes. Down here, you can see all of your notes as well as any smart folders below. And if you've mentioned anyone or anything or hashtagged anything throughout your notes, then you can find them in your tag section. Now in the center, this is where you'll get your work done. For example, in daily notes, you'll be able to start adding items here, whether that's notes or whether that's tasks and even calendar events too. And over on this right hand side, you'll be able to see access to your calendar, which you can connect to iCalendar. So in this update, as you can see here, Note Plan 3 allows you to create backlinks. So for example, if I wanted to connect this record Note Plan 3 to the Note Plan 3 note that I have, if I click in, you can see that a backlink was created when I did this task. If I go back to daily notes, it's very simple to create a new note inside of the daily notes view. For example, if I press the two bracket in which you would create a backlink in Obsidian and Rome, I can go ahead and create a brand new note. If I click into that note, as you can see there, a new note is created and below I can start typing away whether that's tasks, whether that's information in more detail, much like you would with any regular note. As you can see here, it's automatically connected to the 24th of November 2020. So as you can see here, I can actually go and add tasks below and naturally add text. So each of the notes in Note Plan 3 operates in Markdown, which is perfect for exporting and sharing inside of other applications. And what's nice as well is it uses plain text, which is stored in a local file on your Mac device. So for example, if you didn't want to connect it to any other service, you can make that happen. What's good is it does have CloudKit Sync, which allows you to connect it with your Cloud Drive account. Okay, so moving back over to daily notes, as you can see here, I've obviously got a task up here and you can see this arrow appear on the left hand side. So basically you can do a range of different things. You can move it to today, which it's already on. You can move it to tomorrow, you can complete the task, cancel it or move it to a date further in advance. If this is actually a repeat event, you can actually change it to every day, every week, every month, every quarter, and even, for example, for a specific amount of time. So if you actually wanted to set up a routine like meditating or anything like that, then that's something you can do inside of this app. 
As you can see here, a new date is created. And every time anything is moved, you can see it's moved or snoozed to another date. I can go to that date here, or I can actually click in and see tomorrow's list of daily notes. I can even skip back to the original date that I had it on. Now, if you wanted to take more advantage of your tasks, you can go over to review and you can see all of your tasks. You can see upcoming. So for example, I've got this one tomorrow coming up. I can see any overdue stuff. This was the last time we did our note plan to review. You can see all the ones connected. You can see any note tasks that are specific. So the one we created earlier in note plan three and all tasks, which spans across all of your areas. So one of the things you can do is go to your week plan and actually start adding stuff in here if you wanted to plan your week ahead. As you can see, it connects your Apple calendar, so birthdays and other events are brought in. You can skip ahead weeks as well, so you don't have to necessarily keep scrolling for that. So this is very reminiscent of things three, allowing you to schedule or plan your week ahead. And when it comes to this calendar ability on the right hand side, it's pretty neat because you can use time blocking to set stuff up. So for example, if I wanted to set up a period of time to record tomorrow, I could, for example, move this around. So as you can see here, I've created a specific event that's come up and naturally, if I'm using and browsing the tomorrow area, I could see that appear on the right hand side. Now, what's really nice is I can even set up a reminder as well and create it within the iCloud reminders lists I already have. Let's pause for a moment and learn more about Samebox. These days we get inundated with emails, so it seems it's no longer about responding to them all, but the ones that truly matter. And that's why you need to check out Sanebox. I've personally been using Sanebox for the last two years and have loved the way that the AI monitors my inbox, moving any unwanted emails right into a folder called Sane Later, leaving me more time to focus on processing emails that are important and not every single one that comes in. Apparently Sanebox users save roughly three to four hours a week on email. What's really cool is you can train the system as well. So if you find an email in the wrong folder, just move it and it will train over time. There's no installs, no learning, and it works with all email providers and services out there. I personally use it with Missive. It also has some nifty features like Sane Black Hole, where you can drag messages from annoying senders you never want to hear from again, and Sane Reminders to ping you if someone hasn't replied to your email by a certain date. Now you can get a two week free trial and $25 credit by visiting sanebox.com slash key productive. Anyway, folks, a big thank you and I hope you enjoy. So if I wanted to keep it consistently connected to reminders, I can have that there too. Now, one of the things I really like is this folder view. It's very similar to Things 3's areas in terms of its design, but allows you to see all of the different notes that you've created inside of your folders. You can even pop this side bit away so you can actually work on a note in full detail. As you can see up here, this is their take on backlinks. But as you can see, it's not incredibly amazing because you don't have the graph view to weave everything together. And I guess if you're looking against, say, Rome Research, you can't do any advanced filtering with this. One of the things up here is you can access the markdown editing here. So if you wanted to, um, so if you wanted to learn the keyboard shortcuts and the markdown ways of writing, you can do it up here, as well as access the note menu, including sharing, copying URL to note, and show in folder. As you can see inside of the folders, it appears as a TXT file, plain text. So down here, you've got smart folders, which helps you to see the most recent stuff, as well as archived features as well. And down here, you'll be able to access mentions and hashtags that you've already tagged inside of your notes. So all in all, while this application marks itself as a range of different abilities, it's actually a really nice hub if you want a, a basic way to start taking notes, but also a nice way to start taking tasks as well. To start using backlinks in their most basic format, and also to weave your calendar in. I would say it's perfect for those Apple users who consistently use iCal, but also want to be able to take notes in plain text, and also plan and weave their week ahead. I'm actually fairly impressed. I think I was pretty impressed last time at Note Plan 2, but I quite like the upgrades they've made to this edition. So there's a great YouTube video that Stacey Roshan has put up, and she actually, I believe, follows the channel already. She put a great walkthrough of how she uses her Note Plan 3, and it's becoming very popular for digital bullet journals. 
It also shares about how she takes it for notes as well, so I highly recommend it and I'll put that in the link in the description. So all in all, if you're looking for a place to store your notes, your calendar and your tasks, this isn't a bad to bet. It's not going to give you the advanced board abilities at Todoist Hand. It's not going to give you advanced graph abilities like Obsidian does. And it won't give you some of the more granular stuff you'll find in Agenda Note. And it won't give you some of the advanced calendar abilities in Fantastic Hour 3. But it's a really nice medium ground for all of these applications. And they've done a good job of weaving it all together out. So I recommend checking this one out. It's actually fairly reasonably priced as well. It's a little bit more than say the personal pro of Notion every single year. However, if you're looking for an application that does all of that in one and follows a more traditional productivity format, this could be a good bet for you. And of course, I'd love to hear your opinions below. So feel free to share some of your thoughts about this app. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Let me know if you have any questions. I look forward to hearing from you about what you think of this application. Anyway, folks, have a great day. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.